Welcome to the Creative Hudza. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to turn an image into vector in Affinity Designer. First, go to File Open and select the monster image. This is a PNG image. I got this image from Pixabay and you can find it in the description below. Grab the Crop tool from the Tools panel. Take the tool and crop the picture so that only the third monster, the one with the tongue out, is visible. After cropping the picture, right click on the layer in the Layers panel and select Rasterize. Then lock this layer. You can also lower the opacity of the image if you need to. Next, grab the Pen tool from the Tools panel. In the Swatches panel, make sure the fill color is inactive. Then go to the Context toolbar and set the width of the stroke to 5 points. Take the Pen tool and trace the body of the monster. Press the control key to switch between the pen tool and the node tool. Press the alt key to convert a smooth point to a sharp point. Once you've traced the body, label this layer Body in the Layers panel. Now take the pen tool and trace the hair. Label this layer Hair in the Layers panel. After that, grab the Rectangle tool from the Tools panel. Draw a rectangle over the face area of the monster. Go to the Context toolbar and set the corner to round it. And set the corner percentage to 34%. In the Layers panel, label this Face. Next, grab the Pen tool again. In the context toolbar, set the width to 8 points. Take the tool and draw a straight line over the mouth line of the monster. Press Ctrl and click off the line. Then take the pen tool and trace the tongue. Label the line lip and the tongue tongue in the layers panel. In the layers panel, select the lip and the tongue layers. Press Ctrl and G to group the layers and label the group Mouth. With the pen tool still selected, take the tool and trace the eyelashes on the left eye of the monster. Once you trace the first lash, press Ctrl and click off of it, then trace the other lash. Now grab the Ellipse tool from the Tools panel. In the Context toolbar, set the width to 5 points. Draw an ellipse over the oval shape. Next, draw an ellipse over the eye of the monster. After that, draw two more ellipses over each of the white spaces. Select the ellipse of the main part of the eye. Go to the swatches panel and set the fill color of this to black. Get rid of the stroke color. Next, select the two ellipses over the white spaces. Set the fill color to white and get rid of the stroke color. In the Layers panel, select all of the pieces we created for the eye. Press Ctrl and G to group them together and label the group Left Eye. Then press Ctrl and J to duplicate the group. Name the duplicate Right Eye. With the Right Eye group selected, go to the Transform panel and select Flip Horizontal. Then press and hold shift and drag the group to the right side and place it over the eye. Now grab the donut tool from the tools panel. Take the tool and draw a donut over the donuts of the monster. Get rid of the white fill color and set the stroke color to black in the swatches panel. 
Then press Ctrl and J to make a duplicate of the donut. Take the duplicate and place it over one of the other donuts and adjust the size to match the donut you placed it on. Do this until you've covered all the donuts. After that, select the two bigger donuts, the cutoff ones. Go to the layers panel and drag these two donut layers inside of the body layer. This will create a clipping mask. Select all the donuts and set the width of the stroke to three points in the context toolbar. Select the body of the monster. Next, go to the swatches panel. Set the fill color of the body to 954FC4. Then go to the context toolbar and select the fill. Click on the circle beside opacity to switch to noise. Slide the slider to the right to add some noise to the body of the monster. Next, select the face. Go to the swatches panel and set the fill color to 3CB98D. Then go to the fill in the context toolbar. Click the circle beside the opacity and add some noise to the face. Now select the hair. Give it the following fill color, EC7226. Then go to the context toolbar. Click on fill and the circle beside the opacity and add some noise to the hair. After that, select the oval shape beneath the eyes of the monster. Go to the swatches panel and set the fill color of these shapes to BF40AA. Then go to the fill section in the context toolbar. Click the circle to switch the opacity to noise and add some noise to these shapes too. Select the mouth group. Set the lip and the stroke of the tongue to the following fill color. 246C53. Then set the fill color of the tongue to DE89B3. Add some noise to the tongue's fill color. For the donuts, use the following fill colors FFFA20. 4486C1 and FF20AC. Also, make sure you add some noise to the donut colors. In the layers panel, select all of the pieces you created for the monster. Press Ctrl and G to group the layers together, then label the group monster. And this is how to turn an image into vector in Affinity Designer. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload.